Saving JSON files to Google Cloud can be useful for many things. So stay with me and I will teach you how to do that. We will begin by creating new C Sharp script. And you can just copy paste the code that I have provided you in the description and I will explain it to you later. As we have imported it, you can see that there are some missing namespaces. For this, we'll open the Visual Studio. Here we will create new project. And we will choose the template for the console app.NET Framework. If you don't see this here, you might need to go into Visual Studio Installer. Here click on change and here you might need to select the development using the .NET. And set the location somewhere outside of your Unity project. And hit create. In this script you want to go to view, open solution explorer, right click the solution, go to manage NuGet packages, click browse and here you need to search for Google Cloud and select the Google Cloud storage v1 and just install it. Now go into the folder where you have created the Visual Studio project. Open the folder packages and here you can see all of those packages that we will need. So you will need to double click on each of those packages, go into libraries and then you need to choose the net standard either the 2.1 or the 2.0 and just uh, take the DLL file from it and copy it to some folder. So we will need all of those DLL files from all of those packages and later we will put them into our Unity project. Now as we have all of those DLL files in our folder, we can just select all of them and put them to our Unity project. Now it might give you some errors, so just delete those DLL files, which is giving you the errors. So for me, it is the Newton soft, so we can just delete that file. And now we are having no errors. Now we can also open the cloud storage script and you can see that here there are no missing namespaces. Now we need to go to console.cloud.google.com. Up here you need to select the project and we can just hit new project. You don't need to select any organization, you can just hit create. Now we can select the project that we have just created, go to dashboard. Here we will open the left hand menu go to im and admin service accounts and create service account create and continue so now we have created our service account and we will also need to create bucket so go to the navigation menu go to cloud storage buckets and this is just the place where we will store all of the data so create Give it some name and hit create. Now in this bucket we will also need to go under permissions and click grant access so that we can actually access this bucket with our account. Now here under the add principles you will just type name of the new service account that we have created and select the role of the storage object admin which will just make it that you can edit and also read the data. And hit save. Now we will also need to create new key for our account, so go to IM and admin, service accounts, select the account that you have created, go to keys, hit add key, create new key and select it as JSON, hit create. And now it has just downloaded you the key which you will need to import into your Unity project. And this is all that we need. Now we can go into the cloud storage script in Unity and here we will need to change some stuff. So for the bucket name, you want to import the name of your bucket, which you can found on the Google Cloud. Now we have the file name, which is just name of the file. This can be anything you want. Now we also need to change the key file path. So for this find just where you have the key, I have it in my downloads 
and you can just copy the path to the file and just import this path to the key file path. And this is all that we should need to change. Now in this script you will only need to edit the save JSON and load JSON voids, which just call the another void and you can just import the JSON file into it. So as you can see, I have uh, I have set it up the same way as the last time that I have just some player data and I just set the player data position to the current player's position. I then I then convert it to JSON and then then I can just call the void save JSON to cloud, import the name of the file which can be anything you want, and then just the JSON volume. And with loading the JSON, it is the same. You just want to make sure that the file name is correct when you are loading the JSON. So now you can easily add the cloud storage script to some object and then just call those voids for saving and loading the JSON and also import which volumes you actually want to save. Now we can try to run the game and see what will happen. So now we can try to save the data and when we go to Google Cloud and to the bucket you can select objects, refresh the page and now here you can see the JSON file that we have named example and we can just double click it and open the URL and yeah here you can see the data that I have saved which is just some player position and obviously in Unity again I can just click load position and it will load position from the JSON file on the Google Cloud. To figure out how this works took me a few hours so I hope that it was helpful to you. Like this you could save a lot more data uh, for example, all of the player data, if you have some inventory system or if you have some leveling system, you could save just all of this data into your Google Cloud. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!